In this video, we're going to be making the arms actually follow along and play the reload animation as well as the fire animation. And we're going to go ahead and sync up the aiming. So to begin, we need to think about how we have it set up. So currently, if we go to Nazi Zombie Character.cpp and look at our on reload function, whenever we reload, again, this is on the client, we get our animation instance for the first person mesh, play the corresponding animation. So this is going to be triggered only on the client, but we're also getting the animation or the montage from the weapon that's in hand. So essentially what we're going to do is just take this here, the entire animation since then playing and all that, paste it into our multi-reload implementation. So if we are not locally controlled, we want to play it like so. Now we need access to the first person mesh. So in order to do that, we're going to instead cast a pawn to a Nazi zombie character. So a Nazi zombie character. Let's call it character instead and change all the pawns out to say character. Then what we need to do is we need to get the mesh. So animation instance equals Character, get mesh, first person, get anim instance. And then from here, we have our fire montage. Well, instead, we already have access to it, so we're going to do if fire, oh, what's it called? FPS arms fire montage. We will play that montage. We'll jump to the reload section of that montage as well. So the reason we're setting it up this way is once we have the third person animations, all we would have to do is simply change get mesh first person to get mesh. And that will hopefully, assuming everything's set up right, play the animations on the third person mesh as well. So now that this is in place, what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to flat out actually copy this whole thing from multi reload. Go to my weapon semi.cpp, my multi fire implementation, and paste the exact same thing in there again. Except this time we're going to change our reload animation to fire animation. We're going to change reload right here to fire. Yep. Then we copy our fire animation, and for the weapon mesh, we play the fire animation instead of the reload animation. I forgot about that. And this will allow us to play the fire from the hip animation on the arms as well whenever we shoot. Now we're also going to want to figure out a way to determine whether or not we're aiming. That will be up next once we confirm that this is in fact working. So let's give it a try. Alrighty. Let's shoot. You can see the arms moving. Let's reload. And you can see the arms playing the corresponding reload animation. So that is working as intended. Now we need to set up a form of aiming. So if we go to character base, we have this Boolean B is aiming. Let's set that to replicate like we did in the comment above. So you property replicate or replicated then we go to characterbase.cpp get lifetime replicated props we're going to do do rep lifetime underscore condition from a character base it's going to be b is aiming we're going to do the condition skip owner because well we don't need to now that we have that, we need a way to set it. So currently, let's, let me look at the input real quick. Yeah, I have the aim, so on aiming start, we have that, and on aiming end. So what we need to do is create a server RPC that will set it on the server. So let's do that. 
we're going to do a new function server reliable with validation we void server underscore set aiming that's going to take in a boolean is aiming or let's do wants to aim let's copy this do the bool and void let's do our validate and our implementation now we can create the implementation for our validate we're just going to return true same thing for implementation then we're going to copy both these functions and move them down to where we have our set aiming so right here right above it so we're going to set b is aiming to equal once to aim so now from here we're going to do server underscore set aiming wants to aim we're going to pass in b is aiming so it syncs up just like so and we can also do a check and make sure we're not the server so if uh let's see does not as authority then we call it because if we have authority over ourselves well, in this case we should be the server so let's go ahead and compile and we just don't want to have to bother doing a server rpc if we're already on the server and we have this function get is aiming i believe that's public which it is okay so now we can go back to our weapon semi we're going to do a check so if character get is aiming else so what we're going to do is we're going to play fire ads if we're aiming and fire hip if we are not there we go and hopefully we should also see us aiming in on top of that So as you can see, we're aiming in, playing the aimed on sight fire animation, reload, play fire from the hip. And everything is working properly. So we have a big part of that done and everything should work all the same with the M1 carbine. which it does so that means we are good to go and we have our animation set up so i will see you in the next one